Stand with the feet close to each other, chest nicely lifted, lateral bending, left arm up, inhale, very gently, exhale, look in front, inhale, center, do it for five times, two, exhale, center, inhale, three, exhale, inhale, four, exhale. Inhale and the last one you hold the wrist with the right hand, lift the left side of the body, exhale five, stay a little longer, breathe, contraction to the right side of the abdomen, inhale center, release the hands, exhale, right arm up, inhale, one exhale, center, inhale, Inhale, two, exhale, inhale, three, exhale, inhale, four, exhale, inhale, for the last one, hold the wrist with the left hand, stretch the entire right side of the body, exhale, stay here, breathe, inhale, center, Exhale, release the hands. Now separate your legs to three to four feet. Hands in the waist, roll the shoulders back. Inhale, come down only halfway. Exhale, ready to twist. Right hand to the opposite leg, reach up with the left hand. Left hand to the opposite leg, reach up with the right hand. Keep swinging the arms, touching the opposite foot. Do this for the next uh, 30 seconds. Move with the breath. Very nice. And finish. Come to the center. Hands on the waist. And inhale. Come up. Exhale, release. Stand with the feet close to each other, a little bit of balance. To bend the right knee into the chest. Stay here, all the weight on your left leg. Try to center yourself. Exhale, release. Now left knee up. Keep the spine erect, balance, breathe. Exhale, release. Second time, right leg, you hold the knee with the opposite hand. Rotate the chest, look over the right shoulder. Good, slowly inhale, center. Exhale, release. Left knee, hold it with the opposite hand. Open the chest, look to the opposite side. Balance, steady. Center. Exhale, release. Now let's try the same. Bending the right knee, you reach the back of the thigh. See if you're able to straighten the leg. Now hold the thigh from the outside with the left hand. The right arm behind you. Take your time, try to balance. I'll go the other direction. Change the hands. Come to the center, very gently put the right leg down. Bend the left knee, reach the back of the thigh. First you straighten and then hold the thigh from the outside. Twist to the body. Look behind, balance, steady the breath. Nice, Shalini. Come to the center, bend the knee. Exhale, release. Excellent. Let's uh, practice Surya Namaskar A. Three rounds of this. Come to the top of the mat. Pull up your kneecaps, shoulders rolled back. Hands along the sides, all five fingers together. So reach up and inhale, join the palm. Tilt the head back, look at your thumbs. Exhale, come down all the way. 
head close to the knees head up only and it looks slightly ahead of you step the right leg back left leg back chaturanga dandasana exhale scoop up in heel up dog hips up exhale down dog stay here five deep breaths eyes open look towards the abdomen one two three four very good five look between the hands and inhale jump or walk forward head up exhale head inside very good reach up and inhale stand tall look up at your thumbs exhale samastri second round reach up and inhale palms together look up at your thumbs exhale come down head inside head up only and inhale step the right leg back left leg back chaturanga dandasana exhale scoop up and inhale up dog hips up exhale down dog lifting the hips up one Two, three, four, and five. Look between the hands and inhale. Jump or walk forward. Head up. Exhale. Head and side. Reach up and inhale. Stand tall. Look up at your thumbs. exhale samasthi very good third and the last round reach up and inhale keep the core engaged look up at the thumbs exhale come down all the way roll the thighs in head up only inhale chest wide open jump or step back exhale chaturanga dandasana scoop up and inhale up dog hips up exhale down dog breathe nicely one two three four and five look between the hands and inhale jump or walk forward head up x Inhale, head inside. Reach up and inhale. Join the palms. Look up at your thumbs. Exhale. Samastri. Practice Surya Namaskar B. This has 17 steps. Sinking the hips. Scoop the arms up and inhale. Chair pose. Straight legs. Hands down. Head inside. Exhale. head up only in a heel elbows is straight jump or step back x heel chaturanga dandasana scoop up in a heel up dog hips up x heel down dog right leg between the hands left heel down virabhadrasana equal weight on both the legs release the hands x heel chaturanga dandasana scoop up in heel up dog hips up exhale down dog this time left leg between the hands right heel down virabhadrasana raise the arms release the hands exhale chaturanga dandasana scoop up in heel up dog hips up exhale down dog slow down one listen to the sound of the breath two three four very good 
five. Look between the hands and inhale, jump or walk, head up. Very good. Exhale, head inside. Sinking the hips, scoop the arms up, chair pose, inhale, try to keep the knees together. Exhale, samasthiti. Come to the front of the mat, second round. Sink the hips, scoop the arms up, inhale. Straight legs, hands down, head inside, exhale. Head up only, inhale. Jump or step back, exhale, chaturanga dandasana. Scoop up, inhale, up the dog. Hips up, exhale, down dog. Right leg between the hands. Warrior one, left heel down. Raise the arms. Release the hands. Exhale, chaturanga dandasana. Scoop up, inhale, up the dog. Hips up, exhale, down. Left leg between the hands, right heel down. Veerabhadrasana. Release the hands, exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana. Scoop up, inhale, up the dog. Hips up, exhale, down. Five deep breaths. One. Two. Three. Four, five, look between the hands, inhale, jump or walk forward, head up, exhale, head inside, now sink the hips, scoop the arms up, inhale, exhale, samasthiti, this is a new puppy, Bridget, very nice. Continue third and the last round by yourself. All of you, please look in front when you lower down either Chaturanga or knees, chest, chin. Doesn't matter. Look in front. <laughs> you could all face the camera, take the full yogic squat, Malasana. Could you practice the crow now, Kakasana? Anika, are you good with uh, Padmasana, Lotus? Give me a thumbs up. Okay. Let's try something uh, new. You take Lotus first. Okay. And then uh, you come on your knees. Try to press into the hands. Lift one knee, place it to the upper arm. And then you have to figure out 
lifting the other knee keep the elbows bent try to bring both knees on top of the upper arms let's see good keep the elbows soft correct elbow bent elbow bent palm flat correct take all the weight on your left hand yeah that's that's doing good so you have to use the hands to also lift the other knee one knee takes support other knee has to come up So let's a work in progress. You can finish. Come up to standing. Let's practice uh, a flow now. You do it with me. Just follow the instructions. We'll uh, go together. Use the length of the mat. Separate your legs just to three to four feet. practice the goddess pose the point the toes outwards bend the knees we'll be doing all the things on the right side first and then once we are done with the flow we'll repeat the same on the left side so don't be confused everything is done on the right side arms along the sides and inhale palms together lateral bending to the right side exhale the more you sink the hips the deeper you are able to go stay here breathe come to the center and inhale release the hands just straighten the legs for triangle right foot is turned out practice trikon asana stay there keep breathing now uh, you lower the arm along the ear increase the distance start bending the right knee for side angle pose parshakonasana either the elbow to the thigh or hand to the floor bend the knee more kanika increase the distance neha now legs as it is take warrior 2 look to the right side virabhadrasana high muscles engaged prepare for the half moon pose you could keep the left hand on the waist just uh, move towards the right side drop the hand slightly in front lift the left leg up keep looking down for easy balance next we'll be taking warrior 1 so you bring the left foot behind turn the chest to the right side arms up increase the width between the feet if needed stay here warrior 1 from there practice warrior 3 which means you lean forward kick the left leg behind balance if you need to touch the fingertips to the floor feel free no problem now just where you are join the feet at the top of the mat samasthiti exhale release cool let's repeat all that on the left side once more you face uh, the camera legs 3 to 4 feet toes outwards goddess pose kali asana exhale arms by the sides so join the palms and inhale side bend to the left exhale the lower you move the hips the more you are able to bend good arms along the shoulders you turn only the right foot in for triangle straighten the legs exhale bend to the left leg look up trikon asana keep breathing nice malika very good varun 
head back Sumiti. Now start bending the left knee, increase the distance for Parshva Konasana, side angle pose, right arm comes along the ear. Good, Malika bend the knee some more, Neha bend the knee, breathe, chest open Shalini, along the ear Kanika. Take warrior two, legs as it is, arms along the shoulders. Look at your left hand. Strong thigh muscles. Bend the knee more, Varun. Next up is half moon pose. So you look down, move the left hand slightly more in front. Right leg comes up. If you can straighten both arms, that's great. Otherwise, uh, keep the right hand on the waist. Uh, Shranti, like this, up. Prepare for warrior one. You look to the left side, drop the right foot uh, far away. Take warrior one. Veerabhadrasana. Nice, very nice. Lastly, warrior three, lean forward, right leg behind, balance, try to square your hips, Neha chest up, chest up Neha, good, breathe, very good Olga, leg up Shranti, square your hips, now just as you are, join the feet, Samasthiti, exhale. Nice. Please watch. So we'll add uh, a couple of new postures after warrior three. Wait, <laughs> after warrior three, you take uh, medium stance and practice wide-legged forward bend. Okay. From there, head up, walk the hands slightly in front, jump, and again practice Pada Hastasana. Take the chair pose. And from the chair, you finish. Okay? So you don't uh, do Samasthiti. After uh, warrior three, take wide-legged uh, forward bend. Cool. Let's uh, restart. Face the camera for goddess pose, Kali Asana. Right. Sink the hips, raise the arms. Everything on the right side first. Hands in Namaste. Bend sideways to the right. Exhale. Bend both knees equally. Good Varam, good adjustment. Arms along the shoulders. Turn the left foot and straighten the legs. Practice triangle. Exhale. Nice knees is straight Varam. Now Side angle pose, increase the distance, bend the right knee, left arm along the ear. Increase the distance some more, shall we? Breathe. Legs as it is, come to warrior two in the hair. We'll go a little faster this time. Try to recall the steps. Next comes half moon pose. Look down, right hand slightly ahead of the foot, left leg comes up. Nice, toes pointing towards you. Varun, hips open. Now take warrior one, look at the right side, drop the leg behind. Neha, warrior one. One, one. Yes. Warrior three, lean forward. Balance. Concentrate. Leg up more, Malika. Instead of Samasthiti, you practice wide legged forward bend. Face the camera, arms over the head, and inhale. Bend straight down, feet parallel. Exhale. Stay here, hands a shoulder width apart. 
walk the hands in line with the feet. Head up only, inhale, practice Pada Hastasana, jump, join the feet, exhale one more time, head inside. Finish with the chair pose, scoop the arms up, inhale, exhale, Samasthali, right, take wide stance for the goddess pose. Everything on the left side this time. Toes outwards. Lower the hips. Exhale. Looking in front. Arms by the sides. And inhale. Join the palms. Breathe nicely. Left side. Bend. Exhale. Lateral bend. Just open. Chalini. Arms more back. Very good, Neha. Elbows straight, Sanati. Good, Olga. Very good. Arms along the shoulders, turn the right foot in, straight legs, practice triangle on the left side. Trikon Asana. Exhale, look up at your right hand. Good Shanti, very good to all of you. Parshakon Asana, increase the distance. Drop the left elbow to the thigh to scale down, right arm along the ear. Just open Chalmi, arm back, bend the knee more Malika, lower the hips Kanika. Legs as it is, come to warrior two, arms to the sides, look at your left hand. Half moon pose, look down, left hand coming one foot ahead and raise the leg at the back hips are open chest is open nice malika toes in toes in varun flex the foot yeah like that hips open more hand is in line with the leg okay it's not to the edge of the mat it's at the center of the mat take warrior one Step the right foot back, arms up, look to the left. Once the breath is uh, somewhat stable, practice warrior three, lean forward. Chest facing down. Both the front of the thigh facing down. Nice, Olga. Very nice. Prepare for a wide-legged forward bend. Take a medium stance. Arms up. Inhale. Bend forward. Exhale. Turn the toes in. Kanika. Good. Nice. Head up only. Inhale. Jump to join the legs. Pada Hastasana. One more time, head inside, exhale. Super, chair pose, sink the hips, scoop the arms up, and inhale. And exhale, Samasthiri. Well done, come sit down. If you have a cushion, keep uh, the cushion handy. We'll be doing a lot of forward bends now. Take the right leg in lotus if there's no knee pain. Ardha Padmasana. You could use a cushion under the knee. But uh, if you're not very comfortable, you could keep the foot to the inner thigh. Simple. Now both arms up and inhale. Bend forward. X. Heel, come down. Toes pointing in. Nice, Sharni. So, Niti, you'll have to keep the leg straight in front. It's gone too much to the side. Yes, like that. Now you do it.
relax the shoulders reach forward and inhale arms up exhale release straighten out the right leg change the sides so the same variation either lotus or foot to the inner thigh arms up and inhale neha your leg is too much to the side keep it at the center the leg is straight bridge it come bend Okay, reach forward and inhale, arms up. Exhale, release, straightening out the legs. Now, all of you, try this. Bend the right leg with the toes pointing back. If you find this difficult to keep the knees together, then open the knee like that. Open the knee fully to the side. arms up and hey bend forward x a this is easy way to do it but the knees together is slightly more challenging nice alga varun it's okay if the knee is pointing out no problem perfect malika which your hip is lifted so need to use a cushion under that hip it must be mostly the right hip the knee which is bent put a cushion under that yes sir neha very good and reach forward and inhale arms up exhale release straighten out the right leg change do the same on the other side good toes pointing back you're sitting down equally on both buttocks you're not sitting on the foot arms up and inhale bend forward exhale good neha if you're tilting try to balance that out it may not happen so easy but uh, still you attempt Okay, reach forward and inhale, arms up. Exhale, release. Wonderful. Straighten out the legs. From there, you bend the left leg now, with the foot to the inner thigh, and then bring the right knee close to the chest like that. 
simple forward bend just please watch if you could do a bind you raise the right arm slightly lean forward keep the arm fit against the knee and then do a bind then you bend forward but if you want to skip all that do a simple forward bend without the knee falling try to keep the knee pulled in bend forward come down like that consciously keep the knee towards you stay there this is a modified marichasana marichasana b head can come down keep the knee close neha keep the knee close slowly inhale arms up come out exhale and release straighten out the legs notice the some stiffness to the sides of the abdomen now bend your right leg with the foot to the inner thigh left knee into the chest you could move the foot out for better balance otherwise you'll wobble if you were doing the bind earlier do the same same hand left hand goes around brace yourself otherwise arms up and hey bend forward exhale stay here keep the knees squeezed neha shanti move that uh, leg you're wrapping around with the arms move the foot out slightly towards the screen yeah now move the head down very nice slowly inhale arms up come out exhale release just to point the toes away from you pull them in towards you chest up one more time away from you towards you. good bend the knees keep the feet uh, at least shoulder distance we have done this many times before where we keep the hands down drop knees to side to side but as a scale up try if you could do it without the hands without the hands drop the knees to the right side look in front come back drop the knees to the left to side look in front come back do another two rounds right side come back left to side come back try to press the knees down fully right side come back left to side come back and now bring the soles of the feet together the first to sit straight if the feet are too close and you are rounding then walk the feet away until you are able to sit with the chest up now very simple or at least it looks simple please watch as the spine is straight feet are uh, there i'd like you to round the spine in a way that you are able to bring the head to the feet okay and then maybe interlock the hands behind stretch the arms as a variation which is optional okay just around the spine put the four head to the feet try relax the knees go for it chalani chalani go for it hands behind interlock stretch the hands forward very good slowly come up and inhale and you hug the knees into the chest tightly good
from there you're going to just lift up the yeah. right foot hold on to the leg like that you get it off the floor you could just be here with the knee bent or if you're more flexible straighten and pull it in towards you relax the shoulders knee bend is totally fine try to be on the sit bones chin up kanika no rounding nice or on beautiful good this and it just up just up all of you now see if you can maintain this and just to release the arms in front like you would do in navasana maintain the same position arms forward palms facing each other see if you can uh, get the bottom foot 1 inch off the floor balance good balance breathe 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 and both feet down relax change keep the left foot lifted then uh, get the foot off the floor you could just stop here or straighten and pull it in towards you chest up keep breathing chin up chest up hold the ankle malika make it easy for yourself now what you do in the boat pose navasana arms in front get the bottom foot 1 inch off the floor balance chest up balance breathe good uh, holga nice 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 and both feet head down you can uh, slowly now <clears throat> take child's pose for some time in the hail sit up please watch me first and then you can practice later you start with the knees hip width apart hands to the front of the thighs there's no arching here to make it easy the first couple of rounds you could do it with the toes tucked in watch i'm going to simply lean back and like a spring come out so your core is activated lean back like a spring you come out after two rounds do it another three times maybe with the toes pointing out you come out do it for five times take all the weight on your knees and of course the thighs are working so it'll be beautiful nice shalini excellent no looking back you'll have to look straight from there practice the camel ushtrasana hands behind you support the back and the heel arch so you can reach for the ankles the soles of the feet do it practice deep breathing push the hips forward bridge push the hips yes push 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 kanika correct nice sir neha why don't you reach the ankle yep like that support the back safely come out and heel we good can sit in vajrasana take a short break please watch me we'll do a gentle twist now start with the hands supporting you're going to swing the right hand to the left this side like that okay right hand coming to the left side then open the chest look at the right hand 
if you are super flexible you could do it with the hand to the opposite foot instead of holding the waist keep the hand to the opposite foot and now you swing chest open look at your hand at the back slowly come out i'll show you the other side also simple is uh, you swing open the chest look at the hand at the back or if you're more flexible reach for the opposite foot swing chest open look at the hand come on see try both sides nice all go good varun keep the chest slightly open to the side Mm -hmm. come out try the other side good tilt the head back look at the hand along the ear push the hips forward okay slowly come back take the child's pose count the stretch relax well done slowly inhale sit up turn around lie down on your back I hope uh, you all have some space around you. We'll be making circles with the legs, feet together, palms sit down. As a scale down, you keep the left knee bent, left foot down. Now, right leg up 90 degrees. Inhale, take it fully to the right side. Start making circles. One. You don't have to go the other way. Only fully to the right side and center. Two. Good. Three. Nice, Neha. Four. Five. And six. Change the direction. Go opposite. Six. Kanika, go for it. Go for it. Five. We are doing one leg, but that's also fine. Three. Four. Two, and the last time, one. Slowly relax the right leg. Take a break. Change now. Do the same with the left leg. Can you can you do the same thing again? Repeat. Left leg fully to the left side. Exhale. Come to the center. Make a big circle. One. Two, three, four, nice, five, one more time, six, opposite direction, six, try to keep the lower back pressed down, five, four, three, wonderful two and one relax shavasana shake out your hips your shoulders practice the shoulder stand sarvanga asana join the feet t-shirts in hands down
whenever you are ready legs up hips up as a variation today you could uh, unsupport hands interlocked in front of you press it down into the interlock the hands stay lifted good shalini toes pointing up would uh, help you a little for this if you are struggling then come back to support practice the plow for support the back and with the support you lower down exhale halasana in the plow try taking the hands behind reach for the big toes Varun, take the hands all the way back. Hold the big toe. If you have the toes down, then straighten the knees. Push them away from the forehead. Okay once again support the back let me see you come into the shoulder stand legs up 90 degrees i mean up to the ceiling so practice one final variation if you know how to practice lotus then try that right foot on top of the opposite thigh left foot also on top you could take help of the hands if not lotus cross legged is also allowed and then uh, hug the knees into the chest tightly wherever you are oops come back try again nice shalini but if you are in cross legged you could be holding the feet if you are in lotus try to interlock the hands uh, as the arms wrap around the knees balance only on the shoulders good strong you very good try can you wrap at least one arm around the thigh yes like that come back change the hands good so we'll finish use the hands as a set of breaks roll out exhale end with the fish matsyasana arms underneath if you are doing lotus then no need to hide dig down into the elbows and inhale head up chest up look behind you place the crown of the head down take five deep breaths slow and steady all the have the toes in slightly put the toes towards the yeah now relax the legs
Inhale, slide the head out. Exhale. Shavasana. Turn the head side to side. Settle down. Relax. Complete surrender. Deep relaxation. Relax. Start to breathe. Wiggle your toes, your fingers. Also, the head side to side. Joining the legs, arms over the head, up 
exhale, turn over, come to sit. Final prayer. Join the hands and inhale. Sloka Samastha Sukheno Bhavantu Om Shanti 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 Rub your hands together. Bring in lots of heat. Now cup your eyes. Namaste, everybody. Hope you had a good practice uh, 